Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new weekly painting, and this time we are going to paint uh, this horn. This is a typical thing, bone type of object. I'm going to do an ivory type of objects, okay, with some gold decoration. So I will do the horn, the the metal part, and as well the chain. So I'm going to start applying a meta the metallic first, and in that case, I will apply. This one, um, a silver color, okay? This is from miniature paint. You can use any silver that you like it. And we're going to apply this on the parts where I want to do brass and the parts where I want to have um, metal, okay? Um, we'll, uh, we'll, I want to say iron. Okay, so I will do it here, for example. And I will be careful not to go on the parts where I want to paint ivory. So we are going to paint like that and do the different parts. Okay, so I will do that. I will apply this layer. Okay, with metallic here and here, or including the changes. So I'm doing that, and I will be back for the next step. Okay, next step. I'm going to use a snake by leather. And I'm going to apply this on the metallic part of the horn. We are going to do not on all, just on the parts where I want to simulate brass. So we are going to do like that. Here I will not care too much that you know, we are going to do the the Simulate the hole later on. And here I, I try to go careful not to go too much into the ivory. I just want to do the rim of the metal. But you don't want to go, you don't want to turn the, the part where I want to apply ivory. Okay, I'm going to do a yellowish ivory in that case. Okay. Okay, go like that. And I keep working. Okay, I will do now the bottom part. And I will wait this drive before doing the next step. Okay, next step I'm going to use a skeleton horn and we are going to apply this on the part where we want to do ivory color. Okay. The other option is to do directly a wash with seraphine sepia. If you want to do much, much lighter color, so you can do uh, maybe a um, it's called this Ushapti bone and then Seraphine Sepia. But with one step, and especially with this night texture, you can see that uh, a skeleton cord is giving a very nice finishing. And again, we are going to wait that this device before doing any further step. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Now, next step I'm going to use flake one flesh. You can use shapti bone or any um, ivory color that you have, and I'm going to highlight these parts. And I will use a little bit of Corax white as well to give a little bit more um, uh, a little bit more of highlight, right? So we will go like that. Maybe first I like to apply a little bit of of one flesh, then I come with Corax, <coughs> and I will mark all these parts. 
is a way to clean up and here that the wash did not went well if you have something like that I would use XV88 and I will help me to apply this there Okay, we keep doing that. I will do first flake one flesh. Let's see. And I will do it well this line there. Okay, and then I will come with Codex White. Look here, and then I will do Okay, like that. I will come here as well. And now I will do the same on the other side and I will be back. Okay, this is how it looks like now that we have done the highlights with white. And the next step I'm going to do, we are going to simulate the holes here. Okay, so I'm going to use a dark brown and I'm going to apply the dark brown there first. Okay. I'm going to change to same on the other one. Don't worry, it's not perfect. We are going to work that. And now I will wait at this device. And while this is like, I'm going to do the chain. Hey, just to for completeness and to do the full pack here. So I'm going to take Agua Air Shade and apply this on the chain. Let's just do one thing because this paint was pulling there and I don't want it. Okay, the same here. Okay, let's put non oil on the chain. Okay, and we are done with this. It's quite, the chain is quite fast. Um, now we're going to take black. Okay, in the case it has and I'm going to plug black. Okay, and then on the other one I will do the same. Here is not that needed. Now I'm going to take Redivitor Armor and we are going to do around the hole. I 
mean the idea is to the idea is to have a very bright gold around the hole so to have contrast okay something like that and now I'm going to take Auric Armor Gold that is even brighter and I'm going to highlight a little bit the horns See, now we have a nice. Be careful here not to touch the change, the, the pin is a little fresh on the change. And we have a nice now. Horns, and they will look, they will really pop up on the tabletop. Okay, that is normally the, my objective is to make miniatures that are looking good on tabletop, so you can see here how they look like. And with that, we have finished the work on the horns, uh, on the horn in that case, right? The, so, yeah, this is how I will approach this type of ivory objects. Okay, the, my main objective was to work on the ivory part, the white part, but as well you can see how I also work on the gold and other parts that are um, part of the same object. So I hope you have enjoyed this one, please let me know what do you think, give a like if you have liked this video, share if you think other people can be interested, and as usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later, bye!